Rob Alvey with Theme Park Review, and we are back here in Las Vegas for IAPA. Let's check out a little bit more of the show. So what are you waiting for? Let's go inside. All right, check it out. There's a brand new train from Mauer Schoen, a four across Seton X car. So what happened? Well, I was just walking down the street, minding my own business. Yeah, right. When all of a sudden, here I am. Wow. You don't happen to have a banana, do you? No, I don't. I'm sorry. Maybe a banana with a file in it. <laughs> so we are here at the B&M booth chatting with Walter Bollinger, who is the B of B&M. And we are standing next to, I believe this is a behemoth train. Is that correct? That's correct. All right, so can you tell us a little bit about what you guys opened this year? I think we have uh, Diamondback, a hyper coaster at Kings Island. Very nice coaster. We also opened Manta at SeaWorld awesome. sea Orlando. Yep. And we opened a dive coaster in Shanghai, at OCT Shanghai. So typically three coasters. Our company do three coasters per year. So. Excellent. What we, do. Uh, we rode the dive coaster this year. We rode uh, Manta. We love them. They were awesome. I'm sure 2010 should be a good year, yeah? It's a good year. I think we have different rides opening next year. But of course, I cannot give the name of the park. That's totally cool. We understand. Thank you very much, Walter, for spending some time chatting with us. I've never been snow tubing in Vegas before, so <laughs> it's something I have not done. This, this will be quite the experience. You ready, Clint? I'm ready. All righty. All right, here we go. We're snow tubing in Vegas. Can we hold hands when we do it? We can hold hands now if you Oh, Jesus Christ! Ah! Did he just turn that thing on full blast on purpose? I'm assuming I don't go down the one with a bump. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to put my throw my ass in here and we're going to go. I'm in. Oh, and that's what. Ready? Ready? Go! Oh! Whee! Whoa! Oh crap! <laughs> and I ended up out in the magical midway. So we are here with Pete Owens from Dollywood, and last year Pete gave us an amazing tour of Mystery Mine, of Blaze and Fury, basically all over the park. The ham and beans lunch was awesome, and we are actually coming out to visit you again next year. So give us a little bit of insight of what we can expect from Dollywood in 2010. Well, the biggest thing for 2010 is something we're calling Adventure Mountain. Cool. And it's the largest challenge course, we're saying in America, but it's the largest one in the world in all actuality. Uh, it is, uh, it's being created by RCI, Ropes Course International. It has uh, over 140 different elements. It stands, the highest trek is about 90 feet off the ground. Now this is, uh, this is what we saw under construction last year when we were zip lining what seemed like 100 miles an hour. Yeah, that's it. We went right over the top of it, and uh, instead of it being, uh, you know, about 60 or 70 feet below you like it was uh, when we ziplined before, it's only going to be about 10 or 15 feet wow. below you at the time. That's so awesome. uh, it, it's going to be a cool thing. So tell us, what's, uh, what's it really like working with Dolly? Oh, she's great. I mean, she's the best boss in the world. <laughs> demands excellence, demands excellence of herself and of you, but, I mean, she's hilarious, and it's just She's fun to be around. She's singing all of the time. It's kind of like you know being around her, getting ready for uh, interviews and stuff. It's like in your own private little concert. All right, so we're on something called Vertigo. Um, kind of looks like a like a Starflyer type ride. They, I heard they just built this thing this morning, so we'll see how this thing holds up. All righty, here we go. We're going up in the air. I just hold this little. Tiny chain right here holds out. Oh God, this is not that tall, and I'm, I'm slightly freaked out. Okay, I'm kicking the feet, kicking the feet. Yeah, I'm, I'm just, uh, I'm just gonna close. Oh, jeez, it dropped a little bit. And the other thing that's kind of weird is like, you know, I'm kind of looking down. There's Las Vegas over there. There's somebody snow tubing, and then there's a giant inflatable dino butt. I think I see an inflatable football stadium, too. Hanno! How's it going? Woohoo! I'm dizzy! So now you are actually helping out with the uh, National Roller Coaster Museum. Can you tell us what your role is in on that? Well, I'm a board member on the National Roller Coaster Museum. Um, there is a whole new board that uh, was formed this year. It, you know, we're a 501c3, we're a nonprofit organization, and our mission is to preserve and protect the artifacts in the industry for future generations. Cool. We now have a building, 
So it's uh, we basically have uh, put a stake in the ground and said, all right, we're we're here. Um, it's in Plainview, Texas. It's adjacent to Larson uh, International, uh, Jeff Novotny's company. Bush Gardens uh, Europe uh, has donated us a uh, Big Bad Wolf train. Wow, that's great. 60 feet of track, the entire sign package, um, uniforms from the original year and as it's moved through, uh, design documents, you know, whole, uh, anything that is historically significant to right. that particular ride will now become a uh, part of the National Roller Coaster Museum. That's uh, fantastic. And then secondly, uh, Six Flags Corporation uh, announced that uh, they were donating uh, key artifacts, including a full train of the Texas Giant oh, nice. from Six Flags Over Texas. All right, so we're at Bob Space Racers and we're playing Bongo Beat. It's kind of like Whack-A-Mole meets Monkeys. Come on, bongos. We're going to try two hands. Come on, I got a system down. Come on, beat those monkeys. Come on, monkey. Touch it. Touch my monkey. Oh, who won? It was not me. I suck. We're here with Tom Rebbe from PTC, and uh, we want to know a little bit from Tom what is exciting, what's going on with you guys lately, and what can we see a little bit more in the future? Well, we just finished up a project with Martin and Vemlix in Shanghai, China, the first wooden roller coaster in China. Awesome. It was, uh, it was a fun project. It learned a lot of how to... Uh, uh, Chinese culture and how to uh, work over there and their work ethic is uh, is quite amazing so uh, that was a, a really good project that we worked on and right now we're just in the midst of uh, beginning of the, uh, the busy season all our winter overhauls and uh, parts uh, service and then all the questions call phone calls emails uh, it just you know, rolls around again and, uh, Excellent. Well, we were at uh, Happy Valley Shanghai a few months ago, Road Fireball. We absolutely loved it, so congratulations. Good job on uh, putting that one together. So there's there's uh, been a bit of competition in the wooden coaster train, and you guys have been, uh, you know, the, the first out there and uh, been doing this for years. What's, uh, what's sort of keeping you guys number one? Well, we're 105 years old this year, and um, we just put out the best product we can, and if there's uh, something that goes a little south on the project, then we hear back from the park owners or even the acers, uh, and we start delving into that. We'll look at it, and if we need to make changes, or we'll work out what the problems are. But uh, to keep us number one, it's just uh, the support we have from coaster enthusiasts and, and the parks themselves. So we are here over at LowQ, and these guys make the awesome QBot flash pass system. And we cannot tell you guys enough, use it at every park you're at. And we're here with Steve Drake, and he's going to tell us a little bit about LowQ and uh, tell us a little bit about the brand new system, the mesh networking, that kind of thing. Well, the, uh, the system, as everybody knows it, is the uh, the QBot system, which is the handheld unit, yep. the new the new version that's coming in over the last two years actually is what we call a mesh network now. So it's virtually totally wireless. So we use the units to communicate with each other, and that's basically simply it. It works very similarly to as it always has done. The only difference is now you can actually book your rides on your handheld machine. Awesome. So we used it all over the U.S. Uh, last year. We're going to be at uh, Mirabalandia now. Has it right? So when we when we visit Mirabalandia in 2010, we'll be able to use uh, QBot, LowQ, and uh, let's see, Dollywood has it, Six Flags has it. Um, guys, just any chance you get it, get to use the QBot system, we highly recommend it. All right, so we're over here at Whitewater checking out. It looks like this is like a musical water worm over with Ryan Jansen. Uh, give us a little bit of like a spiel on what we got here. Well, this is a Nessie, so she uh, she could swim in the water. You can take, take this instrument, and it's a musical instrument. You can take it into a pool with you go swimming now how much practice does that take you actually anyone can just come up and play it's just really easy to play and it often sounds really good do I dare try it dude I am playing the musical water worm dude I am playing Mary had a little lamb <laughs> All right, so Rob Alvey from Theme Park Review, and that wraps up our IAPA 2009 coverage here in Las Vegas Convention Center. Thanks for hanging out with us, watching all the videos, checking out all the photos, and come and see us again real soon. Bye-bye.